Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to do ramp slow mo in Sony Vegas Pro 11. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways. There is this way. And then there's also this way. They're both a little bit different. You could just pick whichever one you like. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to take a clip that I got from the Skate Rats editing. Because this is a pretty good clip to ramp. So, first, what you want to do before you even, like, start ramping anything. Well, first, let me just turn off this real quick. Just so it fills out. Alright, so before you even want to like ramp, you want to click so the audio gets highlighted, right click, properties, and you're going to want to change time stretch, pitch shift, go to like elastic, tick, uh, I don't care, whatever. And then you want to say lock the stretch. Now right now it's not going to do anything, but that's going to save you a lot of time and I'll show you how I'm saying. So first, just want to zoom in on the clip, and also, like, I'm just editing like one clip right now, but you're probably going to be editing like a clip in a video. Make sure there's nothing after it, because you're going to need space back there, like, because it's going to stretch out. So don't like finish editing something and then do this, because then it's it's not going to fit. So yeah, keep like remember that. So. Just kind of use the left and right arrow keys to find where you want to start. I'll start in a different spot. I'll start it here when he's about to pop. So yeah, for the first method I'm gonna show you, you're gonna split it, and then you're want you're gonna wanna go two to the right, split two to the right, split. You wanna do that about. 12 times about, so we got 3 right there, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, so yeah, now what you want to do is just drag this over here out of the way. So you're just going to want to control click all these, and ramping takes, it's kind of time consuming, but it's worth it. Yeah, just control, hold control and click those, and just move all those out of the way. But I keep them like visible right there. So what you want to start off doing is hold. If you just hover over this, you get that. That like shortens it or lengthens it. You want to hold control so you get that little squiggle, and that's what does slow mo. So you just want to drag that out one, then drag one over. Now you want to like sort of build like a pyramid. So that one was one. Now this one is two. And then it can only go up to six. Like you can only drag this out six frames. So, so yeah, you'll you'll see what I mean. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, now 6. Now since I had you do 12, you're going to have two 6's. I just like to do that. So now you're going to start going down. So now you're going to do 5, 4, 3, and so on. And then just drag this over. Alright, now the reason why I had you change it to like elastic and lock to stretch is so now you don't have to go back and right click each of these and press lock to stretch, which I used to do when I didn't know I could do that, which is really annoying and takes a lot of time and it's just a pain in the ass. So yeah, that's that ramp is done. So now you could watch your ramp. So yeah, that's how you do the first one. 
Now the second one, which I prefer, let me just make a new. Now the second way, which I prefer, because I, I use this one more, is a little bit different. This one is primarily, well not primarily, like, this one you can like select how long you want the ramp to be. Like that one you can only really go up to 12. If you go m much more than 12 it's just not going to be like, it's not going to be right. So this one is for like a bigger ramp. Like I'll use this one if, like for example, if I want to ramp from here to like there, then I can do that with this method of ramping. Where that one I can't just like, I can't just like split that many clips. It's it's just not gonna be right. So yeah. But yeah, if it's a shorter one though, I I use the I use the one I showed you before, just because that one's a little bit faster. So yeah. Now this one, same thing, got to right click properties, you always got to do that when you're ramping, so you save yourself a lot of time. So just like the other one, you split where you want it to start, but now this one, find where you want it to end, save out there, and then split where you want it to end, just drag this one out of the way, and zoom in on this. So what on this one you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing. Hold Control, so you get the little squiggly. This time you're gonna drag it out too. Go to this one, split it, split it, and then just kind of drag that one over there, and then do that however time, however many times you feel. I'll do this. Normally I do this until I have about like six or so on each side, like. In this one, you kind of choose how big the ramp is. The other one's like you don't really have as much choice over how big or small the ramp is. Well, you can choose how small it is, but you can't really choose like how big it is. This one, you can make a much bigger ramp and have a much more noticeable like audio stretch. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Just drag out, split, split. Where do I have here? Six. I'll go to go to seven. All right. So now that they're all there, just control click all these, and then drag them back over, and then drag this one back over, and then that one's done. So yeah. I don't know. I like that one a little bit. I don't. I like that one a little bit better. I think it sounds a little bit nicer. Just is a little bit smooth looking too. But the other one I feel looks a little bit choppy. But yeah. So uh, yeah, that's how you ramp slow. Peace.